So the reason I'm doing a video on this is because we just stayed in this for two days and it was a really awesome experience. We had a great time. My buddy hauls his razor in the back of this trailer and has no problems fitting it. I'm not a RV reviewer. This is just from personal use and experience. After two days of using this out camping, here's the front of the trailer. The Onan generator sits in this compartment here. And then over here is a control panel for leveling these uh, stabilizers and these jacks here. And then this black water, gray water, everything, all the valves are in there. Here are the drains on the side of the trailer as well as more pneumatic jacks. This trailer came with Master Track on all steel. All right, so near the back of the trailer, there's some gasoline tanks that you can fill up here. And then you can dispense the gasoline with a hose. And then here's a ladder that goes to the top in case you need to check the top for something. This door closes and locks electronically. There's a little keyhole right here. And so you just turn it to the right or the left to unlock or lock it. Up there is a little Bluetooth camera if you want to see what you're backing up into. And this is a really tall trailer. So I'm standing right below it and it's really tall. And then on this side, it's mostly the garage door. So this is the other garage door that you can use. And then there are some automatic awnings as well. And then there's some external speakers here that you can play music on. And here's the main door again. And then in this compartment right here, that's a storage compartment. All right, we're doing a video on a 2017 Forest River XLR. So you walk in here. To your right, you have the control panel. This controls pretty much a lot of things in the trailer here. Water heaters, water pumps, outside lights. And then the slides here. And the generator can start and stop here. You can adjust your awning. There's some AC controls here as well. There are also some meters here you can press to check how full your tanks are. Battery as well. Some storage above and below. Some storage area here. Moving in, you have a TV mount. So you can mount a small TV right here. And then down here is an actual fireplace. So this will actually put out heat above more storage space and then coming into the kitchen area so let me back up here and get a full view of the kitchen it's a very nice kitchen coming over the sink here you can move these counter pieces and shut the sink so that just gives you more counter space if you don't want to use the sink. There's a little range here you can use for cooking as well as an oven. So decent sized oven. Down here it's under the sink. There's plenty of storage space. And then of course there's cabinets above. So you get really nice microwave here. This is an LG and it looks like a home microwave almost. And then there's some more storage space on the sides here. So you can store various food items. There's some drawers here. Honestly, tons of storage space in this kitchen. Even above the fridge, more storage. So cupboards everywhere. The freezer is has a decent area. I mean, this is just to get you by for camping, so it's kind of a small freezer, but it works out. The fridge is pretty, pretty good size here. And then 
there's some room in the doors as well. Now moving back here, you have the garage. This is a sliding glass door that can separate the garage. You can lock that too. Here's the garage. It's about 14 feet long. Here's another garage door that you can use. This goes to the outside. There are some controls here. So this will raise and lower the bed system. And the bed system is up here. These can be two separate beds here. Move the toys out, lower the bed, have people sleep on it. So that's where all these switches are. And then the garage awning, there's another switch here. And these are just some extra lights. There are washer and dryer hookups. And then you do have tie downs, a bunch of tie downs on all corners of the garage. You can put this bed down and then this bed will slide down halfway. So you can sleep two adults on there, probably two adults on that one as well. So four people just in here. We slept here for the past two days and we didn't have any issues. The beds are somewhat comfy. You can put some foam pads on there. Up here you have a stereo. This controls the outside speakers and more cabinets, more cabinets. You can set up a TV right there. And there are speakers in the ceiling here. So on the other side of the kitchen are recliners. These recliners are super comfy. Turn on a light, the generator's not going, so these won't turn on yet, but um, the massage seat is pretty nice and you can add heat as well. And these windows are pretty nice. It's really bright out there. You can just pull and it'll release the window cover up. Nice blue lights everywhere, which you can turn off independently of the other lights. Above the portion of the garage here is a loft area. Another area for sleeping. You can see this would probably fit one adult, maybe two if you really squeeze, maybe two kids up there. And it has a separate curtain so you can get a little bit of privacy. There's a vent up there as well. Two, four, and then we could say one up here. So in this area, maybe five people you could sleep comfortably. And there are speakers in the ceiling over here. And this system sounds really good. This is one of the AC units here. So I think there's two AC units in this model. Coming up the stairs here to the restroom. So the restroom, pretty good size actually. You can see lots of room. The shower is pretty big for an RV, I'd say. Here's the sink, that's a small sink. and. There's storage under here, of course. And then here's the toilet. A good amount of room in here. And there's a nice vent in there, just in case. And then here is the master bedroom, which is separated by a door. That's nice, having privacy here. All right, so here's the master bedroom. This looks like a queen mattress. There's a nightstand on this side. Plenty of storage above the bed. This bedroom has its own AC unit, which is super nice. And there's a window right there. You can pull up the blinds on that. TV mounted on the wall in case you want to watch TV while you're laying in bed. And there's a thermostat here that you can control the temperature. Then over on this portion here is the uh, more storage, honestly. And this is actually a slide that slides out. So this will be compacted during travel and then you can slide it out. This bedroom is pretty big though. There's a decent amount of room between the bed and the walls. Lots of walking room between there. And the ceilings are a decent height. Probably about 6'3", 6'4", 6'5"-ish area. The ceiling height in here is really nice. You don't feel claustrophobic when you're just relaxing in here. It's a pretty tall ceiling for a trailer. Same with the garage area. This garage area has a tall ceiling. People sleeping in here won't feel super claustrophobic.
are the specs for weight. So the gross vehicle weight rating is 16,725 pounds. Combined weight of cargo should never exceed 2969 pounds.